What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Edigmatica 2 Expert. It's kind of an extra episode because, you know, we, we started and, like, at the beginning there's not much to do. But I want to do something really cool, but I can't because it's blocked behind stuff. So, let's start with what I did. Well, I did this. Uh, it's just the normal stuff, like drawers. They, they don't have, like, different recipes or anything. So, like, the normal stuff, I just made a couple of those and just placed a couple of things in there. But you can see uh, I've been mining uh, 500, 2000, 1100, 1300, 500, 700, 100, 1000, 2000, 178, 409, 87 bronze. I don't know how I've got that much bronze, but 132 diamonds, but it's currently night, so we can start with what I want to do today. So, the thing that happens is I I have an idea for what I want to build and everything, but again, I chose the material that I thought was kind of easy, living with. You know, this usually quite easy to get stuff, but when you click here, you see it's infused wood, and this is done by throwing logs into liquid starlight. And to get liquid starlight, well, you, you need a light well. And well, to get a light well, you need to get the luminous crafting table, you can to, to get all the stuff. So, what do we do? Well, we're gonna start this mod. So, first of all, we need an astral tome. It's also a quest, by the way. Uh, astral sorcery, your first quest, the tech, oh. <laughs> I didn't know. It gives you the book. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I guess I didn't need to craft it. We've got two. So in here, you have a couple of things. So if you s click it, I believe, yeah, you're going to get what you can do. So there's a couple of things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need an ancient shrine, and it's really important because that, that's the way it is. Uh, but... The thing we need to do first is this, Luminous Crafting Table. For this, you're going to need two crafting tables and a couple of blocks. So, do I have crafting tables? No. Uh, give me some wood, the iron wood. I was testing a couple of wood and really the, the best one for me at the moment really is the one that I want to do. So, alright, uh, let's do, uh, marble, I need to check, is it coal, charcoal, you can use both, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna use coal, because that's what it says. So, alright, we've got this, we've got eight of that bad boy, so this is gonna work, but, if we look here, and we try to do this over here, like this, oh, it works, <laughs> I thought you needed to use the other one. But we're also going to need Salismondus, because to make the Resonator 1, you need to do this. And this is the recipe. Uh, when you click it, it just gives you this and an information. To create Salismondus, take three Vis Crystal of different types and combine them with Redstone Dust. To crafting them with the flint and a bowl. So there we go. Salismondus. Uh, let's put that back. This thing can go back in here. Oh yeah, guys. I got the, this thing. I finally found it, the Rod of Elevation. There you go. Now we're at the top. So yeah, it's pretty cool because uh, that allows you to get all the way to the top quite easily. So if you're in a cave, you just do this, bonk bonk, you're at the top. And you, it's, you don't really need the, any stairs or any ladder or anything. Uh, this is how you would make it? Wow, I really thought I would need the freaking table. But no, we've got a resident table one. Re Resonator 1. So this is cool because you see here, uh, this is going to tell you that there's something at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, going to hit uh, this button. I'm going to say Crystal 1. And here we're going to put it at 4, just so we know there's one all the way at the bottom. So we should be doing this a little bit everywhere so that when it's no longer night, uh, we can do this. But first, we need to craft our table. This thing here. So as you can see, it's just some sort of things with soothing marble and it's going to do. But if you try to craft this over here, it's not going to work. Well, it shouldn't. There you go. You see, it does not work. So what you're going to do 
is you're going to do like me. Uh, I had my mind stuff over here, but the reason this is good is because at the top... Oh, we're gonna have to kill a couple of things because it's night. Oh, nice, I got another chest infused. Uh, right. Oh yeah, I did make uh, a couple of things, the slimeling and slime boots. Uh, those are pretty awesome because you can use them. Oh, this guy has good armor. Whoa, whoa. I, I got lag at the same time as three. Skeleton. It's never good. <laughs> Stop hitting me while I jump. All right, let's head over there. So you need to find something like this over here. All right, uh, we're just gonna get in and put something to cover the hole. All right, so there we go. So you see there's a floating crystal over here. What you're going to do is you're gonna place here your crafting bench under. So this is gonna make a beam and it's gonna allow you to use this one to craft the next tier. So there we go. Now we have a luminous crafting table and we unlocked a new uh, section. So we have discovery and we have exploration. So this is good. By the way, I'm going super quick because my plan wasn't to do <laughs> astral sorcery. My plan was to go straight into the Batania. And the reason I'm saying this was my plan is because as you can see, I've been farming those stupid flowers for a little bit. And over here, uh, this is how you do it. Quite easy to make floral fertilizer. And how you farm it? Well, you just right click the floor and it's gonna do a bunch of flowers. But that's not the point, that's not the point. The point is, I've, I'm pissed that I've got to do Astral Sorcery right away. But it's good, it's good. We're, we're doing it, we're doing it. And it's an extra episode for you guys, so I'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed that. So, alright, we've got this thing. So, the thing with Astral Sorcery is not all chunks are made equal. Wow! I've got actually a pretty freaking good chunk. <laughs> because we're not high in the sky. And we have this. So this is amazing, but the thing we need to do now is we need to go at the bottom. You remember, we did get this thing here. So what I'm gonna do, hmm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna mine down. You know the thing you're not supposed to do? I might regret it, we're gonna see. <laughs> I do hope I'm not gonna regret it. I might stop about, uh, wait, is there like a hole? No, okay, let, let's do two. All right. Because there might be lava. And we don't want to die. That would be bad. See? That's when lava is near. We're... Do we hear lava? I don't hear lava yet. All right. All right, I think we should be good. Uh, why didn't I get an advancement? All right, so like I said, it should be about here. So let's, uh, let's be stupid. Where is it? There it is. All right. So what you want is you want something that has fortune on it. So we're gonna use this. There we go, we found two. That's not that many. I thought I would get way more than this, but we did find it. There we go, we did another quest. Uh, and let me show you this thing. There we go, there we go, we're back at the top. <laughs> this thing is amazing. It doesn't have a lot of durability though, but the, the recipe's not that bad. It's not that bad, but I, I really like it. I think you should put mending on it and just hold it in your oven and kill some stuff. But it's day! Dang it! Do we have a little bit of starlight? No. Okay, C can I do this quick? <laughs> That's not the recipe! Uh, I wasn't too far. I wasn't too far. Please have enough. Please have enough. 
Oh no, it's missing this! Right, I think I know what I can do. Ah. Uh, okay, let, let's use the sand. Uh, let's see the chunk we're in. Okay, so we can... We could probably go on the ceiling and it would work. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of things away. If it doesn't work, we're simply gonna go even higher. Because at 120, it gives more. Even during the day, it's gonna give more. Uh, so let's do some of that, this, one of the book, let's just put one book here. Uh, this thing we don't need, let's put this one over here. I think we've got like three of those. Yeah, I've got one, two, and three. Okay, so let's grab this thing. Should give me back everything. Uh, let's use the magic. Hey, why is it not doing it? Alright, there we go. We're on the roof. Uh, I need to go a little bit higher. Oh, but I need to stay in the same chunk, so... Alright, let's try this. Okay, we're in the same chunk, let's see. Uh, it's a little bit higher. It's a little bit higher. So, alright, it was bang, bang, and bang. Ah, uh, the thing went in there. Perfect, boom, 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 and this thing, the one with the lowest purity, eh. this thing. There we go. So what you do is you right click with the wand, gonna make a beautiful noise, and it's going to give you this. Perfect. All right. So the only thing is now we need to wait for the night, because this thing works at night. But I'm thinking. Yeah, like I said, I've got slime boots. They're pretty easy to make. This is the recipe. Nothing too complex. And this thing here, same thing. And what you can do is you can explore quite easily by just bouncing around. So, quite easy stuff to do. Alright, so we've got this. We've got that. We've got one crystal, which is what I need. It's all I need. But... I need it to be night. Uh, for the moment, I think we're going to put all of these in here. Uh, I believe I can grab those. And I think that book, and I think you shift right click. Yeah, and you can put the ones that actually have things on it. <laughs> so all of these are useless. Okay, that's... That's not that good. Yeah, there is nothing here. But the difference is uh, when you're going to look at them, I believe uh, you're going to be able to find constellation. Yeah, as you can see, we've got some constellation. I don't know what it means, but I presume it's because you're going to be able to see them in the sky when it's night. So, now that we've done all this, let's grab a couple of chests. All right, and I also got the chest from the last quest we did that I did not open. Uh, is there anything that proc? Yeah, like I said, I've done a couple more machines. Ah, uh, gates were fine. This is gonna be soon. All right, so we've got four here and over here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's open chest. Ender Offset Wand. <laughs> really? It's like basic things. Fire Mill, that, that's actually not bad. Shrimp Pork. That's bad. Oh, wait. That's Weathered Break. Oh, no, it's just normal basalt. Eh. Eh. Not bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> It's good, but we don't have bullets. <laughs> I wish we had bullets. Like, this thing needs bullets. <laughs> it's a nice revolver, though. Uh, well, let's see, can I put it here? No, I'm full. Okay, wait, let, let's go grab uh, this and we're gonna put it next to our house. I did find something that was quite cool that I might want to show to you guys. Uh, I found a house. 
It was already built, and it's <laughs> okay. That's just gonna go in a chest. And the reason it's cool, uh, house. It's because it's on the top of a mountain. So you you get in, and there's just like that entrance here. And it's just like on a hill, so if you light up the part at the top, you only got to protect the entrance. So it's super easy and everything. And over here there's a dispenser. I'm still not sure why. But you can go up the stairs, through the little pad, and at the top there's like a beautiful, nicely made house. It was probably a cult or something, but you could easily use this to make your starter base or something. It's quite big. Uh, you could mine at the bottom because it's a mountain. And it's pretty easy to get. So, yeah, I was quite happy with this. Uh, there's nothing really in the chest. There was like the usual kind of non nothing. But yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna wait for it to be night and we're gonna start playing with the light well to be able to get the light star liquid, star metal, something. And then we're gonna be able to get into Batania. I'll be back. All right, well, I, I kind of thought that this thing would be like, you know, uh, breaking over the light of the day, but it's been like one bucket and 600 and something and it still hasn't broken. Normally you would, Try to use a rock crystal as it's more efficient. But I guess we're gonna keep this one there. It's gonna keep us to 2,000 buckets. And with this, I think we can actually complete our next step, which is making the Fossic Resonator, which I, I will need. I don't really need it because we know this place is just crazy with the magic. But... It's going to allow us to know exactly where is the optimal place for us to be. So, we need one of these, one of these, and I did put my things into here. So, let's grab two of these. Uh, we don't need to do that step to go into Batania. Uh, it's not needed. So... Can I get there? All right, there we go. That kind of works. With this, and then we right click. Oh wait, uh, come on, come on. There we go, got the Fossic Resonator. So what this thing is going to do is it's going to shine the floor when there's a lot of starlight. Oh, there we go, it broke. It gave us 2000 something. Did we lose? Wait, I hope I did not lose my bucket. No, okay, it's right there. All right, so that's kind of, I thought this place was amazing. Turns out it's not. So let's go see, we're gonna go explore a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit of an issue because it's overnight and there's like a lot of mobs around, but Let's see if we can find a place that shines. <laughs> see, that's what I meant by it's a lot easier to move around with this. All right, so I don't see anything so far. I don't know if it works when it's in your offense. Oh, there we go. That's the spot. So when you see something like this, that means that there's a lot of starlight over here. So this here would be a perfect place for us to set up this. Uh, okay, there's a lot of mobs. <laughs> but... Okay. There you go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. But yes, yeah, so that means that there's a lot of starlight over here. If you remove this, it's gonna go away. But... So I'm just going to put a new thing called Starlight. And this is a really good place for us to do everything we want to do with Starlight. So that is cool. We found one. Oh, I don't need to do this. That's why we enable these so we can teleport easily. But 
What you need to do for Batania is you grab this, you put it in a hole like this, then you grab your logs and you throw them in there. They're going to change into infused wood. And then this one can go with the pure daisy. So this is the way we can do this. And I don't believe this is going to go away. So I can throw as much wood as I want. And I did get like a bunch of this because I thought I liked the wood. So I hope these can actually change. Yeah, they work. Nice. So let's we'll just drop these as well. And we're going to have three stack to start, which to be honest is not even close to be enough. <laughs> it's not even close. So, all right. So we've got this wood. Now it's Botania time. Botania. All right. So first things first, uh, we need to make this thing here. Oh, we need to do it in the luminous crafting table. <laughs> See, that's good that we did one. <laughs> well, actually, we kind of needed to. That was needed. All right. Do I have a lot of cobblestone? Okay. All right. Let's make this let's grab a couple of white flowers uh those are the one we're going to need for now because i'm not going far into batania i just want the beginning uh we will have to go up there perfect that was a perfect throw let's see by the way i'm doing pretty good with this thing i'm trying to keep it up and everything but uh Sometimes it's hard. So there we go. Ah, uh, this, this. Hey, don't go down. Don't go down. There we go. And now we grab a resonator. Right click this. I love the sound of this making an item, but it takes a little bit of time. Come on. Come on, it's getting late. We need you to work faster. Okay, so it needed a lot. Wow. Come on. Come on. Okay. Whew. I'm pretty sure this thing needed a lot. Uh, can I do like the... Okay, it doesn't say exactly how much. But there we go. We did do the gate, but Tanya. So we can claim this and it's going to give us a flower pouch. And we can go into Batania. The Batania. So again, you, you I'm not going to do the book. It gave us, oh, it turns out claim. All right. It did give us the book in the floral fertilizer. The book is really easy. It's a sapling with a book. So they, they don't really need to give us anything. But that means that now we can work on making this. First things first, I'm going to tell you what you're going to want to do is place your petal apothecary next to some water because you will need to put water into the petal up of the carry you will also need seeds so let's look at the recipe uh let's look at the quest so the first thing it tells you is to get this so we're gonna claim it because you, it's kind of stupid because you kind of go there first but the one we want is the pure daisy so the pure daisy is made with four white four white flowers and one seed but one thing that is cool that they changed recently let me put these over there so we're gonna need seeds that's cool i kept a lot all right you can right click on it and uh, wait oh no you can't so one two three four i'm dropping it and then you drop your seed. So this is how it's done. It's going to give you your flower. But you need to put back water in there. So you do this. And if you empty your hand, you can simply right click and then drop a seed. So you do this. You right click and you drop a seed. <laughs> click, right click, click, drop a seed. And this is going to allow you to simply go a lot quicker to create a lot of flowers at the same time 
All right, so let's do this. Let's do that. We're going to do eight for the moment. All right. There we go, eight. So these, the way you place them is you put two space between them. So one, two, place, 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 and one, two, place. But one thing you can do is I believe it makes the flower work faster is you can use one of these. Uh, wait, no, you need to change them into glowing. I'm not 100% sure. Mystical white petal? Oh, I didn't know you can make more white petal. Yeah, so you see, I just placed that on the floor and I believe you can place your flower close to it. I don't really remember exactly what it does, but I thought it'd make them work faster. Maybe it's because you need to change the flower itself. But what it does is it's going to change the infused wood into living wood. So let's put that there. Uh, we're going to need to move you and move you. But we're going to be able to place this. Like so. We're, we're going to place some in the middle in, the while, in a little bit like this. There we go. And over a little bit of time, it's going to change into the living wood. Come on. Come on. Let's look at the, the book because we can claim this. Boom. Uh, yeah. So the next thing is, of course, these two. And then you can get into the flower, move the mana and stuff like that. But this is what I needed. And this is light blue concrete. Okay. <laughs> this is not what I needed. All right, so... Boop. No, it's raining. It's raining, man. There we go. We're starting to get it. So it's probably going to do it in the order. Have I placed it? Yeah. Exactly in the order I placed it. So, it used to be that it was between a certain amount of time and a certain amount of time, but he seemed to now be in kind of an order that makes sense. So you can vein mine it. Then... You can do this as well, again. Oops, that one's one too many. Let's really see if it goes in the order. So we're going to go like this. There we go. It's a really weird order, but if it follows, it's going to follow. So it should do something weird. And I hope it does. To do the flower, it's quite easy. Like I said, you just use your petal apothecary. Eventually, we will, like, how can I say, uh, automate it. It's quite actually easy to automate. I find, and people don't. But it's the way it is. <laughs> Alright, maybe we, we could put one more of these. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it did go and do that line. So then it's gonna go, like, over here. It was here. Yeah. That makes sense. These two, then it's gonna go that. Then it's gonna do the circle. Then this one. Then this one is gonna do this. Yeah. It works. Nice. That's cool. I like that. Uh, there's ways to automate this, but I sadly won't have the time to do that. So the thing I need to see is, does this thing give two or it gives four? All right, cool. Uh, I do want to show you guys something that is a little bit cheaty. So there's a couple of quests in here that like are pretty good. Uh, let's claim that. All right, so if we go in gates, there is here nuclear craft. Oh, it's actually not cheaty because I'm there. But we could have made this before we even had machines. 
because of the fact that we explored so much. So because of that, we were able to get everything you need to do that thing. Ah, man, my inventory is such a mess again. I'll just put these over here. Uh, let's put these two over here. I still have a mess of an inventory in here because I went exploring and everything. But, all right. So if we look at uh, nuclear craft, there's one thing that I really want to do, and it is this one, the alloy furnace. So you need basic plating, one, two, three, four. You need two bricks, a furnace, redstone, and a copper solenoid, which we have. Because, like, we, we, we didn't even have to make this thing here, which is expensive, because we get 41 of this thing. So, two bricks and a furnace. Do I have bricks? I don't think I've got bricks. Well, let's do 32 bricks. All right, and I guess at the same time we can make the manufacturer, manufacturer thingy doodler they ask for. Uh, I think they needs another one of the... All right, and let's go out, let's grab two pieces of redstone, four lead, and let's grab our two bricks. Perfect, so let's do the quest. Oh, yeah, forgot about that one. It's always raining. Hallelujah, it's always raining. All right, and bam. Hello, furnace. <laughs> so the thing that is cool with the iron furnace is that it can make steel. And I haven't even started in immersive engineering. But one thing that is also cool, it connects. <laughs> so I don't even need a different type of power. I can use that one. So here, what you can do is put iron and coal. And it's going to turn into steel. Uh, let's put half of it. Because it's always two iron and one coal. And this is going to turn into steel. The thing you need to think about is that this thing uses a lot more power than you can give it. <laughs> but it's actually super quick. But, you need to remove the things in here before you can actually start it crafting. So you're gonna be able to make four at a time, pretty much. And the same thing for this one. The, this power source is not made for this. Like, at all. Oh wait, you just need to reopen it? Wait, let's see. Yeah, okay, so you just need to interact with it. But we got steel. And normally the way you would do it is a blast furnace. Because if I look in the book, uh, let's claim this one. I've got advanced, I don't mind. Uh, oh yeah, we, we opened the gate for nuclear craft. So nuclear craft is here. So we can do this, detect, claim, bam, and what? Oh yeah, we <laughs> we've got so many things just from blue things. Loot, claim, claim, <laughs> claim, claim, claim. Well, there you go. That's how you start a, a section. <laughs> Having everything done. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, let's open these. Nothing. Dirt. Builder, that is really good. Hamster wheel. <laughs> Prismarine. Architect saw bench. Future block. Yeah, those were pretty bad uh, rewards. I'm gonna admit, it was pretty bad rewards. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy because I can do steel. But li like I was saying, if we look into immersive engineering, I'm pretty sure steel comes here. And not over there. It's not supposed to be from here. Unless it is, and I just went the way it was supposed to be made. But I'm pretty happy with this. Normally you would go coke oven first and then everything. But I did not do that. 
And guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, after this, I'm probably going to make a bunch of wood. Uh, because we need it. And I'm probably going to start building? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. But if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.